I want to make a quick video today to talk about a new feature that was recently added to uh, Node.js, which is called Core Pack. And the thing that's interesting about Core Pack is that it provides a way of being able to use a package manager without having a package manager necessarily installed. So this is a quick refresher. If you've worked with Node at all, you're probably familiar with both NPM. And there's reasons why people like to use NPM. There's reasons why people don't like to use the NPM. And there's these alternate package managers like Yarn or PMPM. And the common problem that people run into is that when you are going to take your application to deploy it to, let's say, another server, or you're going to be doing sending it to a build server, for example, a lot of people don't like to use uh, uh, NPM because uh, you know, their build server may not have access to the internet, as an example. Actually, that's pretty common not to have access to the to the internet when you're using a package manager. So uh, something that was added recently in uh, Node 16.9. So this is not in the LTS version of uh, Node yet. It may be by the time you watch this video, but right now it's not part of uh, it's not part of uh, the LTS version of Node. What I figured I'd do is to give you a quick example to show you how Core Pack works, how you can use it, and why you might want to use it. So let's take a quick look here at my terminal. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new directory here called Yarn Demo and CD into that. So now I'm in this. I'm going to blow this up a little bit just in case uh, people can't uh, read it. Let me clear that. And uh, now that I've done that, um, I've there's nothing in here. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to start creating a, uh, a node project. But before I do that, I want to enable the feature of Core Pack. So the way you can do that is if you, first of all, you need to verify that you have Core Pack in the version of Node that you're using. So I'm just going to do a node-v, and I can see I'm running the latest version, Node 16.10. Uh, and this is added in 16.9. So now that I've verified that I have a new enough version of Node, I can type in core pack enable. And you can enable a specific package manager, but I'm just going to be turning the, the core pack feature on because if I wanted to, let's say, type in yarn, it's not going to recognize that because I don't have it installed globally on this machine. So let's go ahead and do core pack enable or enable spell that correctly so now I've enabled core pack so now I've done that uh, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna create a, uh, a new project in here and so I'm gonna use core pack in yarn so I'm just prepending core pack with yarn to let it know this is the package manager I'm planning on using uh, before I do that, I'm going to say prepare. I want to prepare this uh, this project to use it. So I'm going to say core pack prepare. I'm going to say yarn at 1.22.11. So I'm going to use this specific version of yarn, and I'm going to activate that. So now I've activated that. And now I'm going to come in here. I'm going to type in core pack yarn and I'm going to init a project in here. So I'm going to say init dash y. Just do some autocomplete. Okay, so now we can see that yarn's actually working and I've added a, a new project. If I come here and do, do ls, you can see there's a package.json file. If I take a look and see what's in that file, you can see it's just created a, uh, a very simple uh, package.json file. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open this up inside of Visual Studio Code. And Visual Studio Code's kind of freaking out on me, but we'll try again here. All right, so now we're in Visual Studio Code. I'm going to come over here and add a file, and I'm just going to call this index.js. There's nothing in it yet. We'll come back to that here in a second. So now that I've done that, uh, one of the things I'm going to do is I'm going to come in here. I'm going to specify that I want to use uh, the module type. So I'm going to come over here and type in type. And we'll say module here. And so now we set this up as module. I'm gonna come in here, I'm gonna add a script that I wrote for downloading something from an API. 
So if we look at this script, uh, basically what it's doing here, I'm gonna blow this up so you can see it a little bit better. What it's doing here is uh, I'm importing Axios and uh, I'm getting the result back from this uh, beer API and then I'll be outputting that result. Right now, you can see here, this is kind of an empty project. I don't have anything set up in here. Uh, so the first thing I wanna do is I wanna go ahead and add, uh, I wanna add uh, Axios in here and I wanna do it using Yarn. So the way I'm gonna do that is I'm gonna come back here to my terminal and I'm gonna say core pack Yarn add Axios. And that just added this node modules folder here. And it's got Axios in here. And we can see that now if I come back here to the package.json, it's added this dependency in here. And now I want to be able to run that. So to run that, I'm going to come here and I'm going to add a scripts to this. So I'm going to say scripts. And in my scripts, I'm going to create a start. And in my start, I want to say node index.js and just add a comment here and I should take care of that. So now I have everything I need in order to be able to, to run that. Um, so let's go ahead and run that. So I'm going to run this by saying core pack yarn and I'm going to say uh, run start. And there, just give me back my results. So there's a couple other things you can do with core pack. They're kind of interesting. So for instance, if you want to include the specific uh, package manager that you're using, you can do that with the core pack prepare command like we used before. But I'm gonna use it a little bit differently here. I'm gonna say core pack, and I'm gonna say, let's say prepare. And I want to say specifically this yarn version 1.22.11. And what I want to do is I want to uh, output this. So I'm going to activate it. But well, I'm also going to do a dash O here. And what that'll do is that will output it. And what it just did is it just created this corepack.tgz file. And what this is, this is a uh, um, an archive of the package manager. So for instance, if I'm taking this now and I want to deploy it out to another server, I can do that by hydrating this archive. And the way you would do that is you just come in here and you say core pack hydrate. And I specify the name of the file I want to uh, unarchive and just hit activate. And that activates it. So that is a quick summary of what Core Pack is. I hope this answers your questions. If you have any more questions, please feel free to you know, leave comments down below. And have a good day.